Good morning, HT Kids. I hope you've had a great week. Guys, I am so excited because this morning my friend came round and he had baked cookies for us. I'm so excited to eat one. I've been waiting all morning. Oh no! It's empty! Oh, my housemates must have eaten them all. Oh, that's so annoying. I was so looking forward to eating one of those. Oh well. Well, I know what I'll do. I could just bake my own, right? I mean, all I need is I've got a bowl and a, a spoon and I'm wearing my apron and... Hmm. I probably need some ingredients, actually, don't I? I'm not really sure what goes in cookies. I know you probably need butter and sugar and maybe some chocolate chips, but I don't really know what else and I don't really know what order you're meant to put things in. Ah, oh, I probably need a recipe, don't I? Yeah, I don't have a recipe. Oh, this is so sad. I'm so hungry and I was so looking forward to having a cookie. I'll tell you what we'll do. Well, I'm going to look for a recipe and while I do, why don't you go and sing the action song and play the game?
reaction song, guys. My name's Ben, and I've got a little helper called Isabella, and I lead the Rockets group here at HT Kids. So, now we're going to play a game. And what game shall we play? Shall we play Simon Says? Yay! Does everybody know how to play Simon Says? So basically, I have to say Simon Says, and then you have to follow what I do. But remember, only do it when Simon Says. Shall we play? Yeah. Simon Says Trump like an elephant. Can you trump like an elephant? <coughs> Simon says, hop, 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 Simon says, touch your toes, touch your toes, touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your nose. Simon says, turn around, turn around. Turn around, touch the ground, touch the ground. Oh no, Simon didn't say touch the ground. Should we try again? Let's turn around. Simon didn't say it again. Okay, Simon says turn around, turn around. Simon says touch the ground, touch the ground. Touch the ground. No. <laughs> Simon says, big star jumps, big star jumps, big star jumps, big star jumps. Simon says, fly like a bird, fly like a bird, fly like a bird. Fly like a bird. That's great. Simon says, do a funny walk, do a funny walk, do a funny walk. Simon says, hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Simon says, jump like a frog. Jump like a frog. Jump like a frog. Simon says, lie like a log. Lie like a log. Ah. <laughs> now, you might want to get a teddy because we're going to get ready to sit comfortably to hear our story. Well done, everybody. Now it's time to read our story. Do you remember what book we're reading from? Yes, Exodus. We're looking today at something called the Ten Commandments. These are what God uses to tell his people the best way to live. It was a stormy day. God was going to speak with Moses at the top of a tall mountain. God's people watched Moses climbing higher and higher up the mountain. He was so far away, he looked like a teeny tiny ant. On the mountain, God spoke to Moses. He had a message for his people. This is what he said. I'm God. You used to be slaves in Egypt, but I set you free. Let me tell you the best way to live. I am God, the first, the best. Don't try to swap me for made up gods that aren't real. My name is special. Use it well. Work well for six days, but on the seventh, stop and rest. Your mummy and daddy are special. Treat them well. No killing. Keep your marriage promise. Don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. No lies. Don't be greedy for what you don't have. This is the best way to live, God said. You're my people. I've chosen you. If you would like to read this story in the Bible during the week, you can find it in Exodus 19 to 20. I'm going to pass you over to Ellie who will explain the story. 
Hello everyone, my name's Ellie and I'm part of the HG Kids team. I wonder if any of you have been doing any baking in lockdown. Did you use a recipe? Have you ever thought that somebody, probably a really good cook, wrote that recipe? They know how to make the best cake, so they've written it down so that you can make a great cake too. This morning, I'm gonna do some baking. So I have got my recipe book here. Um, and I think I'm gonna make a cake. So, aha, here's my cake recipe. Um, but you know what? I think this morning that I don't really need a recipe to make this cake. I'm sure I can make up one that's way better. So I'm actually not gonna use this recipe. Don't need that. And I'm gonna make up a recipe for my cake instead. Um, so, got my bowl, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all of my favorite things to my cake. So let's have a look at what I've got. I think, first of all, oh dear, I might add some tomato ketchup. This is actually pretty disgusting, maybe not very much of that. And I'm thinking, a bit of syrup. I love syrup, who doesn't like syrup? Um, so. Let's add some syrup. Da, 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 da. Ah, this looks great so far. And, oh yeah, I might add a little bit of jam. We've got a little bit of that left in the pot. So let's just, let's just add that jam. Lovely, lovely. And finally, I think, because, you know, it's not looking much like a cake at the minute, I might add some sweets. I love sweets. Yay, all of my favorite things in one place. I'm gonna give it a stir. Ah. So it's, it's not looking great, but I reckon it's, it's gonna taste great. So I'm gonna try a little bit. Um, mm, okay, interesting texture. good not good okay so I think I think what I've learned is that actually it's a good idea to follow the recipe that is written by somebody who really knows what they're doing because that way you can make a, a cake that tastes great rather than a horrible cake like mine so in today's story we heard all about how God who is the maker of all things writes a recipe now this recipe is not for how to make a cake it is a recipe for how to live life well. And God's recipe is called the Ten Commandments. And there's two halves to the Ten Commandments. The first ones are all about God, about how life is actually best when we love God more than anything else in the whole world. And the second half of the commandments are all about how we look after and care for other people. And these two things together show us how to live a good life and how to be close to God. God's recipe is the best recipe. But actually, God knows that even when we try really hard, sometimes we mess up. Sometimes we're not very kind to people and we don't listen to them. And sometimes we don't make any time for God. Sometimes we mess up. And that's why Jesus came. You see, Jesus never messed up. He did everything just right. And Jesus says to us, let's do a swap. Jesus says, I will take your, your messy, not very good cake mixture of a life that you created and let's do a swap. I'll give you a new start. It's a great swap. And when we ask Jesus, he comes to live with us, to help us. So let's ask Jesus now to change our hearts from the inside to help us to love what God loves. But let's also thank Jesus that even when we mess up again and again, he is always there to offer us a new start. We're gonna hear next from Hannah and we're gonna think a little bit more about this together. So, bye for now. 
So this week we have been looking at the Ten Commandments, God's recipe for life, the best way to live. And so we are going to do our leader challenge all together today. We've talked about how God changes our hearts to love the things that he loves. And one of the ways that we can do this is to ask for his help with this recipe, with the Ten Commandments. And so I'm going to read the Ten Commandments out again. And what I want you to do is to listen and then to pick one, either one that you find hard or one that you would like God's help with this week or both. So, number one, make God your first love. Number two, don't make other things into God's. Number three, God's name is special. Don't use it badly. Number four, take one day a week to rest and spend time with God. Number five, treat your mum and dad well. Number six, do not kill. Number seven, keep your marriage promise. Number eight, do not steal. Number nine, do not lie. Number 10, do not be jealous. So why don't you pick one of those and then we're going to pray together and ask for God's help. Fab, have you picked one? Great, let's pray together. Father God, thank you that you tell us the best way to live. Thank you that you don't leave us to do it on our own, but you come and you live by your spirit in our hearts and you change us so that we love the things that you love. And thank you that when we mess up, you forgive us. And thank you that when we mess up, you forgive us, you make us clean again. And so God, we pray that you would help us with keeping these commandments this week and that we would know that you love us and that you forgive us when we mess up as well. Amen. Amazing. Well, it's time now for you to go and find the craft on the webpage. And as always, please do send us pictures of what you've been up to because we'd love to see it. What I'm gonna do now is eat my cookies because I found a recipe and I followed it and they look yummy. Do you want one? No? Okay, well I'll just eat them all by myself then. See you next week!